Hi programmers. So in this video, I would like to cover one of the most important topics that is what is API, server, database, CRUD operation and HTTP method. So I put all those concepts in one video so that you can link between them easily. So I'll straightforward go into the real time example and that's how you can easily understand what is the meaning of those things. First of all, let's start with the API. Okay. Now you wanted to buy a TV, for example, Samsung TV, something like that. Okay, so you can either go on a website or a mobile device or something like that, right? For example, you went to a website asking like, hey, I wanted to search TV1 there on the search box. You send a request to a server and that server goes to somewhere in the storage that is nothing but database where he or she can find all the data related to TVs and then that data will be coming back to the client in the website as a response. So that is nothing but sending request, getting that response back from the backend. So those things like server and database are nothing but backend and the website and mobile application are nothing but frontend. Now what is API? So API is nothing but taking the request, whatever the request is coming via website, taking that request, and sending that request to a server and server will be responsible for parsing that data and manipulating that data going back to the storage and then getting that data and sending a response to the API. So API is responsible for taking the request. API is responsible for sending that response back to the website or mobile applications as well. Yeah. So API is nothing but, you know, a link between mobile device, website, TV or whatever devices you have and a server. So this is nothing but a pipeline. API is nothing but a pipeline for sending data back and forth between devices, right? Now, where you can build API, you can build API on server. So server is responsible for, you know, building those APIs. So APIs can be built either on Java, Python, Node.js, anything, any programming language, you know, you can build the APIs there. Okay, so you understood what is API, what is server, what is database, right? Now, what are the CRUD operation? What are the HTTP method? All right, as of now, we were talking about asking a website, telling that, okay, give me a TV, right? But you are acting as a customer. But what about you want to sell a TV as a seller, a businessman? So first of all, whatever the TVs you are selling, that TVs should be available in the database, right? So first of all, you have to save that TV in the database. How you can save that? Again, you can open your website or mobile application. For example, you open your mobile this time and then open an application to you know, upload whatever the TV stuff you have, okay? So you want to do upload a TV one, telling that, hey, you know, create or add a TV there. So you are telling like, hey, add a TV. So you sends a request to server again the same functionality you are sending a request to a server and then server is responsible for saving that data into the database once that data is saved into the database server acknowledges to the front end saying that yes i have saved your data into the back end into the database that's all so you can add a tv you can you know, I would say add is nothing but create, right? Right? Now, again, the same functionality, you can update TV in the backend, same, okay? You can get a specific TV. You can get list of TVs. Right? So you can perform all those operations, right? Now, if I link to the CRUD operation, now see, now if I link to the CRUD operation, we'll see that what is the meaning of those things, okay? So adding is nothing but creating data into the database. Update is nothing but view. Read is nothing but getting the data from the database. And again, finally, you can delete the data from the database with the D operation. So CRUD are nothing but a concept. There, Using that CRUD, you know, you can perform 
create, read, update, delete all four operations. So if whenever somebody is telling that, okay, you want to perform, uh, hey, create CRUD operation for um, cloth application. So you need to understand, okay, CRUD operation, no more problem. I can create, read, update, delete. I can perform all those operations. Now the thing is that, how I link those things to HTTP method. So that create is nothing but post. That update is nothing but update. That get is nothing but get. That get list is nothing but get as well. That delete is nothing but delete. Okay. So those are the HTTP method which you can use with the combination of API to perform all the CRUD operations. Okay. And that's all. That's how. I was telling that API, server, database, CRUD operation, and HTTP all are linked together. Okay. If you have any question on this particular scenario, if you didn't understand anything, any point you missed, please do let me know. I'm ready to help you out because in the next upcoming videos, I'm going to try building APIs for everything. All the programming languages. First, I will start with Python because Python is the simplest language. I'll start creating uh, APIs in uh, fast API first followed by Django application. Okay. Then I'll create application on Node.js. Uh, same, same functionality. I'll create uh, API server, database, CRUD operation and HTTP methods there. Then I'll create uh, APIs for Java Spring Boot application. And then that's how we can conclude. After creating those APIs, I will also try deploying that application on AWS. That's how you will understand that how those real time application work in the real time scenarios. Okay. So please do hit that like and subscribe button and do let me know if you have any question in the comment section below. Yeah. So thanks for watching. See you around.